Hi guys! Ang topic natin for today is trigonometry and it's about angle of elevation and angle of depression. So what is the angle of elevation? So ito yung angle na inobserve natin kapag yung object is above the observer. So let's say, ito yung ating observer and yung object na inobserve niya is yung top ng tower. So yung level ng mata ng tao, that is the horizontal and this is the line of sight. So, the angle of elevation is from the horizontal up to the line of sight. So, ano naman yung angle of depression? Ito naman yung angle na inobserve kapag yung object is below the observer. So, let's say, ito yung ating observer. So, yung level ng mata niya ulit, that is the horizontal. Then, ito yung object na inobserve. Ito yung line of sight. So, the angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight. Careful kayo dito kasi ang common na mistake is ito yung kinukuha nilang angle of depression. So, mali yun. Tandaan nyo, ang angle of depression and angle of elevation is always from the horizontal. So, paano nga ba tayo magsasolve ng problems na nag involve ng angle of elevation and angle of depression? So, step 1, lagi kong sinasabi to, mag-drawing tayo ng sketch ng situation. Mas madali mo kasing nasasagutan kung nai-imagine mo yung problem. Hindi naman kailangan na sobrang detailed or sobrang ganda ng drawing mo. Basta ma-i-drawing mo lang doon or ma-ilagay mo lang doon yung mga information na given doon sa problem. Step 2, so ilagay mo yung given na angle of elevation or depression. And finally, gumamit tayo ng trigonometric functions to find the required missing link or angle doon sa problem. So, let's try solving some problems na naga apply ng angle of elevation and depression. Problem number one, you're standing 10 feet away from a tree and you measure the angle of elevation to be 65 degrees. How tall is the tree? Assume that you are 5 feet tall up to your eyes. So, drawing natin yung problem. So, let's say ito ka. Then, ito yung puno na ina-observe mo. So, ito yung horizontal line and this is the line of sight. So, you are 10 feet away from the tree and the angle of elevation from the horizontal to the line of sight is 65 degrees. So, notice na dito, makakabuo tayo ng right triangle. So, pwede natin makuha yung distance na to. So, let's try to solve this right triangle. So, let's say, itong hinahanap natin na to Tawagin natin y, pero hindi pa iyan yung height ng 3. Given this right triangle, paano natin makukuha si y? So, we're given the opposite side ng angle and the adjacent side. Anong relationship yung pwede natin gawin? So, we can use the tangent function. So, tangent of 65 degrees is equal to y over 10. So, we can solve for y as 10 tangent of 65. That is equal to 21.45 feet. So, yung height ng 3, tawagin nating age, is equal to this height which is 5 feet so the height of 3 is 5 feet plus yung y which is 21.45 so this is now equal to 26.45 feet for a second problem the angle of depression from the top of a building to the base of a car is 30 degrees if the building is 26 meters tall, how far away is the car? So, try muna natin i-drawing ulit. So, let's say this is the building and this is the car. And this is the horizontal. Tapos, ito yung ating line of sight. So, the angle between the horizontal and the line of sight is 30 degrees or that is the angle of depression. We're also given with the height of the building which is 26 meters. And kailangan nating mahanap yung layo ng building mula dun sa car or tawagin natin siyang x. So, notice na pwede tayong makagawa dyan ng right triangle. Kaya lang, wala tayo nitong angle na to. So, paano natin siya makakuha? 
So, review lang tayo ng alternate angle. Kapag meron tayong dalawang parallel lines and kinat yun ng transversal, so, yung angle opposite dun sa transversal line ay equal. So, kung ito ay 30 degrees, etong angle na to ay 30 degrees din. Therefore, from our figure, if this is 30 degrees, ito yung ating parallel lines, ito yung transversal line, so the angle opposite the transversal line ay equal. So this is also 30 degrees. So again, we're given the angle opposite side and adjacent side. Para makuha natin sa adjacent side, gamit tayo ng tangent. So tangent of 30 degrees is equal to opposite side 26 over x. Then, x is just equal to 26 over tangent of 30. Solving that, we can have x is equal to 26 square root of 3 or 45.03 meters. So, ganun lang kasimple. And again, galingan palagi at huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe sa Math 101. Bye!